Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I wanted to talk about a new product from somebody who's in the DIY Facebook group. Uh, probably one of the coolest things about having the DIY Facebook group uh, and if you're not a member of it, I have a link for it in the video description down below. But one of the best things about that one is the collaboration, uh, the creations, the ideas, uh, just kind of the, uh, the back and forth with everybody that's in there. And a lot of people have come through uh, because it's such a helpful community, have come out with products that are basically meant to help other candle makers, and that's exactly what this is. Uh, this is a new book by uh, Aisha Kadra. Uh, she's in the DIY Facebook group. She posts in there all the time, and she's spent the last several months creating a candle book that would uh, kind of give people a lot of help. Uh, and it's why I wanted to make a video on this one. Uh, I will say she did send me this book. Uh, this is not a paid video. She didn't ask me to make this video. I'm making this video because this book is incredible. And I wanted to highlight this uh, because it's definitely something I will use. And I wanted to highlight somebody from the group who's doing something like this uh, and helping other candle makers out there. So. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over and do just another, basically just gonna flip over, show the camera, and we're gonna flip through the book real quick and talk about it. All right, so this is the book right here. I just got this in the mail. I actually got this in the mail a few days ago, but I haven't had a chance to really go through it and do a video on it. So I wanted to get down and just kind of go through and show everyone what this book is. Now, I was sent this book by, uh, show it right here. Uh, now, I sent this book by Ayesha Kadra, who's in the uh, Facebook group. Uh, her website is shopcleancanvas.com. This is the book that she puts together. And this actually is a really nice book, which is why I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, very thick book. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Probably my favorite thing in here, uh, just starting off on the very first pages, you've got several pages of stickers. So uh, basically going through in here, you've got test number, wick, wax, fragrance. So anything you're filling out, test number one, wick, HTP, nobody's surprised about that one from me, wax, 6006, fragrance, uh, lilac, and let's do 9%. So basically once you go through, create your labels, these are really nice for just throwing on the side of jars uh, so that if you're doing any kind of testing, which of course you know I do a ton of testing with a bunch of different stuff, these are great. And they kind of peel right back off, which is really nice. Uh, it's not that paper sticker that you get where you start to peel it and like the paper just kind of comes behind or just le leaves a bunch of residue on there. So they peel right back off. So if you did actually want to reuse that jar or remake something, they peel right off, which is really great. Jumping past those, uh, you've got test notes, which I really like. Uh, a bunch of different highlights, uh, resources. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, candle Signs, Flaming Candle, Wooden Wick, Lone Star, Candlesupplies.net, uh, Candle Supply, Cal Candle Supply. So a lot of good resources for people. Uh, it's got a it's got a couple pages for tracking your uh, results and everything like that. Uh, Wick Guide, you've got, this is probably uh, one of the big benefits from the book as well. You've got a full fragrance percentage chart uh, in ounces and grams, which is incredible. I love that. Wick Centering Guide, which is really nice. I just did a video on this one. Uh, also a very good one. And these are easy enough to go ahead and make marks on uh, almost exactly like I was doing with the, uh, with the ruler the other day. If you just go through here and just kind of make your marks and then use that for centering. This actually works out really nice. Uh, a little bit bigger one for larger containers. Uh, it's got a nice calendar in there. I don't use calendaring too much, but I know a lot of people do. I probably should. It would probably help me get a little bit more organized, but a good full calendar in there. Uh, suppliers, products, uh, anybody that's kind of write down their costs, um, the products they get or where they get it from. Uh, good for bookkeeping. And then of course there are a bunch of pages on like full testing, which is really good. A lot of people uh, are gonna find this very useful. Uh, so things like name of candle, size of candle, number of candles, the date was made. So if you're doing any type of curing, uh, batch numbers, If you, I know a lot of people do batch numbers, wax amounts. And then over here you've got 
Uh, wax is heated to what temperature? Fragrance added at what temperature? Uh, stirred in the wax for how long? Wax poured at what temperature? So a lot of people really like to keep track of that kind of stuff. And really useful if you're going through and doing a bunch of different tests where you're doing like uh, low temp pour methods, uh, high temp methods, anything like that. A lot of pages for individual notes. And she didn't know this before she sent this to me, but I am a huge journal fan. I've got probably like 30 different journals. Uh, anytime I go out and I see one that I like, I pick them up. I've probably got about 10 of them that don't have a single thing written in them just because I like to pick them up. Uh, more test stuff. Uh, once you get past your test and you're actually doing burn test, a bunch of pages in here for uh, like your cold throw, your hot throw, faint, decent, good, great, amazing. Uh, whether it was over wicked, properly wicked, under wicked, you can go through and circle that kind of stuff. And then I missed this one, but test burn B, which is like an observation test so that when you go through, you can do your date, your start time, your end time, uh, the room size. So very detailed stuff. This book is actually really incredible for as in depth as she went with this thing. So like I said, just a real quick video. I uh, wanted to go through and just kind of highlight some of the stuff in this. This is definitely a book that I'll be using quite a bit. Uh, it's definitely something that I think a lot of people in the candle group would get a lot of use of, which is why I wanted to make a video and show this. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this book is absolutely amazing. Uh, like I said, I made this video uh, because I wanted to highlight this. Uh, I've seen a lot of guides out there that I really don't like, uh, a lot of pamphlets, booklets, or anything like that that are somewhat helpful, but they're not really helpful to every candle maker. Whereas this, I think this is really nice. I, I don't think there's a candle maker out there that wouldn't benefit from a book like this. Uh, it has pretty much everything you can think of. Like I said, the stickers are probably one of my favorite things just because I end up using like uh, masking tape or uh, just like blue painter's tape to write on a bunch of stuff. Uh, I like having the stickers so that they match up from candle to candle. Uh, and then of course, like the burn test, observation test, all that stuff is extremely helpful. And I know there's a lot of people in the group that really take detailed notes when it comes to, to some of that stuff. Uh, that's one of the things that I kind of gloss over with a lot of my candles. I'll go through and make a bunch of candles. I don't write down a ton of stuff. And then I'll get to the end of burn test and I'm not really sure if I used 8% or 9%. So this is definitely something that I should be using a little bit more and something that I will be using a little bit more. Uh, now the website, if you do want to pick one of these books up, uh, I've listed it in the video description down below. It's shopcleancanvas.com. These are books that she puts together herself. Uh, so definitely jump over. I'm going to put all her uh, website and profile information down below. So if you want to reach out, say something to her in the DIY Facebook group or follow her on any of the social media platforms that she's on, please do so. And like I said, I don't get a kickback from this. I, like I'm not getting anything from posting this book or anything like that. This is something that I like. It's something from the candle community that somebody uh, created within that community and it's definitely something that I wanted to highlight that's exactly why I did this video so uh, if you do end up picking up this book please let me know what you thought of it I'd love to hear some feedback and she's also looking for feedback as well so if there's anything that's not in the book uh, she wants to make revisions to it so definitely send her a message send me a message and I can relay it to her in the Facebook group uh, that way any future editions of the book will feature more stuff in them so that's pretty much it a very quick and easy video just wanted to highlight a really good product that I'm definitely going to be using a lot more in the future. And it's definitely something that I think a lot of people would benefit from. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below, Facebook, Instagram, my website, the email address. And I do have links to everything down below, like the step-by-step -step how to make candle eBooks, as long as the consulting services that I have down there. So if you do want to reach out, just send me an email. And of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.